welcome to my youtube channel bios mind i am bios mind in this video we are going to know about the national fish farmers day and the role of biotechnology in fisheries come on let us enter into the video 10 july 1957 is a red letter day for indian fish farmers in order to commemorate this day on which such a momentous breakthrough that dramatically transformed the fish cultural sector in india the government of india in 2001 declared 10 july as national fish farmers day the central institute of fisheries education mumbai the premier fisheries education institution in india was the first to celebrate the fish farmers day on 10 july 2001 since then all fisheries research education and extension institutes have been observing this historic day with great enthusiasm the day is commemorated in remembrance of scientists dr k h alkani and dr h l chaudhry who had invented induced breeding technology on this day way back in 1957 when the whole country was grappling with food and protein shortage at the end of world war 2 Fish culture activities got a fillip in India and the trade in fish seed expanded. An important development during that time was the establishment of Central Inland Fisheries Research Institute at Barakpur in 1947 by the government of India where fisheries officers from different states were trained which was known as Inland Fisheries Training Center and now as Sifi Kolkata Center with this establishment several small ponds around Howrah constituted a network of nurseries that turned to be the centers of supply chain of fry and systematic marketing become possible with the establishment of fish seed syndicate but the blue revolution in india started with the development of seed production technology through induced breeding that is hypophysation by professor dr hiralal chaudhry under the guidance of dr k h alkuni as head at the earst why pond culture division of sifri at katak odisha presently central institute of freshwater aquaculture sifa bhuvaneswar now let us know about the role of biotechnology in fisheries and aquaculture sector four main areas where biotechnologies have been used in aquaculture and fisheries are first genetic improvements and control of reproduction second biosecurity and disease control third environmental management and bioremediation fourth biodiversity conservation and fisheries management in genetic improvement programs in aquaculture first is hybridization it means crossing genetically differentiated individuals or groups it has great potential to improve productivity second is selective breeding it means intentional breeding of organisms to produce offspring with desirable and improved characteristics third is chromosome set manipulation or ploidy manipulation and finally genetic engineering it means combining genetic material from two or more separate species genetic engineering provides almost instant improvement on given trial next is biosecurity and disease control polymerase chain reaction technology or pcr technology become an important tool for pathogen assessment in developing countries diagnosis of fish diseases histopathological methods supported by parasitological bacteriological and viral studies based on necropsy and in vitro cell culture it require a high level of expertise and are often quite time consuming not being susceptible to automation next is environmental management and bioremediation need for bioremediation for the degradation of hazardous waste the use of vaccination and probiotics to reduce antimicrobial use in aquaculture and the use of dna based methodologies for the early detection of toxin producing algae reducing the impact of effluent discharge improving of water quality and the responsible use of water 
are key areas to be considered during aquaculture development. And the final one is biodiversity conservation and fisheries management. A range of biotechnology based approaches are being used to conserve wild fish populations. Biotechnology offers great promises for fish disease control and feed production as well. Gynogenetic and polyploid progeny production and the use of growth hormones have significantly contributed to fish production. The application of hypophysation, it means injecting of pituitary gland extracts into mature fishes for the induction of spawning has been widely practiced in Asia during the past two decades. The use of purified gonadotropin hormone, synthetic luteinizing hormone releasing hormone has further improved induced spawning techniques. Over harvesting of the world's ocean is recognized as a global threat. To obviate this threat, the production of cultured fish must be accelerated. The ability to produce transgenic fish and sell fish in culture which grow faster and larger with more efficient utilization of nutrients is of particular value to developing countries not only as a source of food but also as export products. While considerable progress has been made in fish biotechnology in Asia, the following aspects need to be further strengthened. First, genetic improvement of cultured fish for improved growth, disease resistance and adaptability to new farming systems. Second, development of low cost but efficient grow out diets for cultured fishes using locally available feedstuffs and microbiological processes. Third, utilization of detailed and microbial feed sources for pan cultured fish. Fourth, production of vaccines and monoclonal antibodies for the prevention and control of bacterial and viral diseases. Fifth, development of drugs and other biotechnological products from marine organisms. And finally, improved availability of mother stocks and seeds, especially of brackish water, marine fish and shellfish. The aquaculture and fisheries biotechnology program includes research in finfish and shellfish, reproductive endocrinology, pathology, virology and vaccine development, environmentally sustainable marine aquaculture, stock restoration and algal aquaculture and biotechnology. That's it for today's topic. We will meet in the next video with a good topic. If you have any doubts, just comment in the comment section. If you like this video, like, share and subscribe to my channel BIOS Mind. Thanks for watching this video.